friends, it's Miss E. We're going to be reading another book today from My First Winnie the Pooh Growing Up Stories. So last time we read a story called Pooh's First Day of School. Now we're going to read a story called Happy New Year, Pooh. <clears throat> December 31st, said Pooh. Time to turn the page of my calendar. Pooh lifted the December page. Hmm. He scratched behind his ear. No more pages. No more months? cried Piglet. That's t t terrible. Oh, Piglet's calendar is just broken, said Tigger. Let's go look at mine. Tigger's calendars. Tigger's calendars are never broken. Tigger bounced into his house and flipped up the December page. <gasps> he gasped. His tail drooped. No more months? It's true. What are we going to do? We could make a poem saying goodbye to the months, said Pooh. It's too sad, said Piglet. I can't think of anything to say. You can't think a poem. Really, said Pooh? It just has to come to you. He sat down and looked at his paws. At least he looked up and said, Goodbye, January. With snow and frost. <gasps> oh, d d d dear, our whole year is lost. That's good, said Pooh. It rhymes very nicely. Pooh continued, No more February Valentine sweets. Goodbye, March, with winds and sleets. Sleets? asked Tigger. Well, you try, said Pooh. Tiggers don't do poetry, said Tigger. Tiggers can do Tigger poetry, said Pooh. So Tigger began, <clears throat> I miss April's drippy rains and Maisie's crazy daisy chains. Did I rhyme it enough? asked Tigger. Yes, said Pooh. You rhymed enough. This is fun, said Tigger. I'm feeling sadder and sadder, said Piglet. He wiped a tear from his cheek. You try, said Pooh. There's nothing like a bit of poetry to make you feel better. Almost June, when the wood was green and the Julys might have been been what? Well, warm and picnicky, said Piglet. Hmm, said Tigger. They sat quietly for a while when Pooh brightened. I think the rest of the poem has to come to me, he said. Goodbye, August, hot and lazy. Farewell, September, cool and hazy. October's colors will always remember, and pumpkin pies of chill November. To December, for well, we'll miss your cheer, our favorite month of all the year. We don't have to say goodbye to December, said Tigger. We're stuck here forever. Oh, yes, said Pooh. I forgot. F forever, sighed Piglet. Toot toot, ring a ling, bangity bang, Piglet, Pooh, and Tigger heard these strange sounds coming from Robin's house, Rabbit's house. Maybe Rabbit's in trouble, called Tigger. Let's go. Rabbit's house was filled with balloons and colorful streamers. Toot toot, Eeyore was trumpeting on a little horn. Ring-a-ling, Rabbit was ringing a bell. Bangity-bang, Christopher Robin's drum. 
was drumming on a pot with a wooden spoon while Kanga, Roo, and Owl looked cheerful. I wonder why they're so happy, whispered Pooh. They haven't heard the sad news, whispered Piglet. Well, it's our bouncing duty to tell them, said Tigger. He bounced over to Rabbit's calendar and lifted December's page. I'm sorry to spoil the festivities, he said. But we seem to have a big problem. There will be no more months in the Hundred Acre Wood, said Pooh. Piglet wiped another tear. We all suppose it's to be expected. Well, I suppose it's to be expected, said Eeyore. Gaintly song and dance. It doesn't work for everyone, you know. Don't worry, Eeyore, Christopher Robin said. Of course there will be more months. There will, asked Pooh. Christopher Robin hanged, handed Pooh a pot. Come on, help us ring in the new year, he cried. New year, asked Pooh. You mean we have a whole new year ahead of us? Yes, with a new January and a new February, asked Pooh. And a whole new March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December, cried Tigger. Yes, said Christopher Robin. And look, I've got new calendars for each one of us. Wow, said Pooh. They're beautiful. They're fabulous, cried Tiger. This is so great. We should have a party to celebrate. That's exactly what we're doing, said Rabbit. He gave Tigger a horn. Here, now no more moping around. We've got to welcome the new year with a happy noise. Piglet smiled quietly. He thought about the pan picnics and pumpkin pies he'd been sharing with his friends in the new year. It's a very friendly thing to say goodbye to the old year and welcome in the new year with our friends, he said. Yes, said Pooh, giving Piglet a little hug. That's just the way it should be. So, in this story, we learned about the new year. Who is your favorite character in the story? Who's your favorite character out of the Winnie Pooh characters? There's Rue, Kanga, Tigger, Eeyore, Mickey, nope, Pooh, Piglet, Rabbit, Owl, and Christopher Robin. My favorite characters are Tigger and Eeyore. Eeyore is my all time favorite character. Discuss it with your parents. Let them know what their, your favorite character is. Tigger, Pooh, Piglet, Owl, Roo, Eeyore. This one's mine and this one's mine. And then ask them what their favorite character is. Maybe you guys have the same character. Maybe you have a different character. And also remember to enjoy your day and have a nice time spending time with your family and I hope to see you all very 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 soon miss you guys bye